Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Continuing on, I have more money than I know what to do with, and there is nothing to do but wait. <laughs> oh, it's a large scout. Muton, Muton, Berserker, Heavy Floater, Drone, Cyberdisc, Muton, Elite, and Ethereal. I don't believe any of that. Last time it told me a similar tale. And then there was a fucking sectopod on it, so nope. This is, however, going to be the first time that I will be using... Oh, never mind. It's a landing, not a shoot-it-down thing. Never mind, I was going to say it's going to be the first time I would use the fusion lance, but it's not. Okay. Well, I definitely want Finn and Isley here, because I want to upgrade their psionic powers. I guess I'll just leave everyone where they're at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could capture some aliens, which I kind of want to do. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, what the hell, for the fun of it, let's make it fun. These missions haven't been particularly difficult, so... Let's give myself a little bit of a handicap. I'm gonna take away the scope, and replace it with an arc thrower. Where are we going? To the US. Strike one. Prepare for Twisted Fist. Our AO is within the continental United States. That sounds like a sexual act. We've tracked the UFO land. I don't care, Central. I don't like you. Go away, please. Remind me again why I hired you. Nobody likes you. Nobody. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. Alright, so the main objectives are to get the meld, capture aliens, and upgrade my psionic abilities, which I'm assuming comes when you actually use them. Let's get a feel for the map here. Alright, it goes pretty far out there. Not very far this way. Looks like we're in the bottom corner again. Bottom right corner. Yeah, let's just kind of go diagonal. Nothing. It's quiet. I can hear the wind blowing through the leaves. Moving to position. Okay. I will put you here. Pretty good view of the area around here. I'm watching. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'm glad you have your eyes on, Finn. That's a good idea. I'm glad you remember to install them this morning. Some people forget. It's not a pretty sight. No pun intended. Hmm. Would have expected to find something by now. Alright, it's probably up this way. Oh, there's one of the melds. Yeah, it's probably up this way more than over here. That's kind of near the border. There's probably no aliens there. They usually don't hang out near the border. I'm going to take a risk here and put you up here. Please don't find anything. Please, please. 
please. Okay. Whew. Well, no surprise, they're near the meld. Ah, it's a cyberdisc, which is no longer so scary. It used to be terrifying, but not anymore. Ah, the drone. Well, thanks to Isley, I can just shoot that. And not even use up her turn. Which is amazing. Wait, what? Oh. I guess it doesn't make sense that it sees its allies being shot. I get it, I get it. Fair enough. Right. Well, I'm gonna preemptively move up here. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. I think I should shoot some stuff. Can I reach? I can't. Maybe I shouldn't shoot some stuff. I really want to get some AoEs in there, though. Ooh, so bad. And I could. I could move them up. I'd blow up the meld, though. All right, let's just hang back. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang back. I've got a nice line here. We've got some pretty good cover. Even some height advantage. I'm good. Let the cyber disc come to me. Bad move, Cybe. Killed by Overwatch. Humiliated. Blarg. That's a strange way to move. Well, I can sure ruin their day, can't I? And I shall do so. With glee. Not the TV show. Although maybe the TV show would ruin their day, wouldn't it? I'm just kidding. I've never actually watched Glee. I have no idea. I just know it's a musical thing. Ooh, it's a good opportunity to catch them as well. And I could even pick... Well, I could pick one off with Isley. Not as much as I'd like. Up to five damage. Alright. I think I should attempt to capture this one. And at the same time, I'm going to get myself some meld. No. No. Collect. There we go. 80%. Hmm. Higher chance of the target's health is at 6 HP or below, which it is. I wonder if I could improve that by harming it even more, though. Is it simply a threshold where if you're 6 health or below, it is a certain percentage? Or does it gradually get better when they're more hurt? That is the question. You know, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. I'll take my chance. Ah, 
Excellent. Don't think this can help me do anything, but it's still fun. Alright. Let's go ahead and use my mind meld if I can. Hmm. Might be able to. Maybe. Okay, you can see. Yes, you can. Excellent. Exercise your mind. Most people do through soda. Su Sudoku? Sudoku? So. What the, how do you how the hell do you say it? I don't know. So I think it's Sudoku. But she does it through Mindfray. A bit different. Don't really want to use a grenade if I don't need to. Heading to that location. Can I flame you from here? Not quite. Ooh, 22% chance, that's not good. Twenty-four percent chance. That is still not good. I think I should just do it. What about Finn? I already used Finn, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll just do it. I've got two more, and there's only supposed to be like, what, half a dozen, no not half a dozen, but a, about a dozen aliens? I'm good. I don't think I'm going to run out. Alright. Scouting time again. It's a pretty safe bet that the other meld canister is inside of the UFO. Hmm. Let's move here. Alright, so we can move up to the outskirts of the UFO, we will be fine. Let's move a bit fast here, I don't want to lose the other meld, I really want it. I'd like to give everybody... Muscle Fiber Density. Yeah, these UFO missions kind of suck for Isley. Because you usually can't get a good shot. At least not when you enter the UFO. The outskirts are great for her. Yep. Coming from inside. No surprise. There's the meld. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and enter. I don't think they're right in here. Yeah, they're probably in the main chamber. Or they're through that. Which, as I know from a little muton surprise, doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to stay inside of that chamber. They can come through, just wandering. Already 
Missione confermata. Got some Overwatch here. God, I love my mechs. They're amazing. They can do so much. AoE and flames, and they can move really far and shoot twice and do shit tons of damage, although unfortunately they have very bad aim. But other than that, they're awesome. Hmm. Let's move in. Open this. Oh. Should I move on over? Yeah. As attractive as it sounds to do flanking maneuvers and come in from multiple entry points, it never really works out because it usually just ends up with you finding more aliens than you would have gotten if you just went in one way. On the move. So let's just pack in here. If you're playing multiplayer, you probably would want to spread out, but in single player, it's just not really a good idea. Yeah, Commander. Double time. I demand triple time, quadruple time. I'm not sure if I should open this yet. I don't think I should. No, why? There's no reason to rush. Let's just grab this. Don't need to worry. Let's pack my mechs in so they can shoot outside of it as soon as it's opened. And let's move my other people up. Especially Isley. Yeah. Let's get Isley up here. And then Finn, thankfully, because Finn has the go shoot a rocket around a corner thing, she doesn't even have to be right in front of the door. I can put her here. And it'll just go around. Holy shit, didn't expect that. Well, they're gonna get shredded, aren't they? <laughs> Although, they're probably only gonna shoot one, right? That's usually how Overwatch works. Oh, close combat specialist. You're dead too. Holy hell, it's a slaughter. Hi. Join in. Another close combat specialist. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're getting shredded. And that's gonna cause it to move even closer. Could it activate close combat specialist a third time? No. Okay. Well. I should use Mind Fray, and blowing up materials is a bad idea, although to be honest, I don't need the materials, so it really doesn't matter. But I do want to exercise their minds. Hold on, let me re read Overdrive. Firing the mech's primary weapon as the first action no longer ends the turn. Okay, one commenter told me that you can actually use Kinetic Strike and it doesn't use up your entire turn. Even though it's not your primary weapon, I'm not sure why that would be, but apparently it works. I'm thinking I should try that right about now. Oh, I already collected it. Calm down. And it turns out that is not true. It's not true. It used up the whole turn. Huh. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I'm fine. Although, unfortunately, I destroyed my cover, which kind of blows. Okay, can I capture any of these? Do I care? 
Have I gotten a heavy floater before? I've gotten a floater. Have I gotten a heavy floater? I don't know. Alright. That gives me a pretty good chance to capture it. That is a very bad chance to hit. So instead, why don't I do this? Goodbye. Yeah, getting that flamethrower used. That thing is beautiful. Right. So I'm going to attempt to capture you, and if this fails, I'm going to mind fray you to death. There's more enemies, apparently. Somewhere. Wow, my cover is just blown up. Let's put you in Overwatch. Alright, where are they? I'm guessing it's the main thing in here that spawns the outsider. I suppose I could capture another one for the for the lols, for the fun. Actually, wait, do I have my I don't have the sun left, do I? Nope, maximum uses permission. Never mind. Right, in that case. Hello, what's in here? Oh. It's an ethereal. Hmm. That complex sizes things, and what the hell is going on here? Anyone want to tell me what's going on with that Muton's corpse? What the hell? I don't even know. It looks like its head is stretched out and it's stuck inside of the wall, and it's gyrating. Okay, cool. Right, I kind of want to just flame you all, but... Um... I also want to blow stuff up. Which I might not be able to do if you're inside. Never mind, I totally can. Preservation of equipment be damned! And everything. It panicked. What's it doing? Oh, it went to hide. <laughs> oh, it can try to hide as much as it wants. It doesn't matter. You are still alive. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mine for you to death. 23% chance to hit. Ooh. It's gotta be because they probably have a high will. Alright, well I'm still gonna take it. It'd be funny if it worked. Did it actually... Did it... Holy crap, it actually worked. Okay, cool. Huh. That went exceptionally well. That was a fun mission. Would have liked to capture the ethereal to see what happens, but... Nonetheless, got two aliens. I hope someone upgrades their psi powers, please. Ooh! Okay. Psi inspiration or psi panic. Removes mind fray and panic from all allies within three tiles and strengthens their will by plus 30 for three turns. Hmm, that would be extremely good in only one scenario. Right in the final mission. Other than that, that kind of sucks. Psy Panic. Causes target to panic on its following turn if the target's will is overcome. Robotic enemies are immune. Two-turn cooldown. 
Hmm. Alright, even though Psy Inspiration is extremely specialized. It's extremely specialized, however, I don't feel like Psy Panic would be very useful, because robotic enemies are immune, of course. And the things that this would be most useful for are things like the Sectopod, which is, of course, a robot. Like, the big scary units is what Psy Panic would be most useful for, because it only causes, it's only effective on one target. So if you're using it on, like, a heavy Muton, who cares? So I'm gonna go Psy Inspiration. Your men certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please, pass on my gratitude to our forces. I finally have something to research. Alright, um, do I need a max... No, increase their soldier's psionic strength. Okay, so I think I need one soldier to reach the maximum psi level to be able to use it. That's what it's looking like. Alright, let's go ahead and give muscle fiber density, density to someone. Who? Not Graves, because you're my only support. Arrow already has it. Isley, you, uh, you have it, of course. Spectre, you don't. Finn, I don't think you do. No, you do. Okay. Hmm. Maybe everyone, everyone has it at this point, except for Graves. I could. Also, fiber density. Yeah, what the hell? Sure, why not? I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify him directly. Ooh, depth perception. That's a good thing for a sniper to have. I can't believe I haven't given it to Spectre yet. Let's go ahead and do that. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Yes, you already said that. Thank you. Thank you for preventing me from doing anything while you talked. That was quick. Hey, weapon technology research credit. A little bit too late for that. And Gene Mod's done, and tons of money. Hello. Why, thank you. Whatever. Right. Well, I have a bit of money. Not a statement this council makes lightly. I have a bit of money. We'll be in touch, Commander. So I'm just going to go ahead and excavate for the fun of it. Other than that, is there any point in building anything? Nope. I just wanted the room. I want a growing room, even though I'm not going to grow. I guess start upgrading pistols? I, I don't know. <sighs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that's a good use of money. That's weird. It's gonna take the most time for improved pistols one? Wouldn't it take the shortest? Eh, whatever. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Let's buy some grenades. Hmm. Reaper rounds, which I don't believe I've ever used. 
affects conventional weapons only, which means it's only good for the beginning of the game. As soon as you get laser weapons, it doesn't matter. As plus 20% critical chance against organic targets doubles the weapon's range penalty. Okay, so it's good for shotguns, basically, and that's about it. <laughs> it's good for shotguns that are the basic level. Because any upgraded shotgun is, is, of course, not going to be in a conventional weapon. So in other words, they're practically useless for the vast majority of the game. That's cool. Large Scout. Okay, this will be the first time I get to see the Fusion Lance in action. I'm assuming it's going to one-shot kill, probably. Maybe two shots. I'll give it two shots. But anything above that, I'm going to be very cross. Engaging bogey. Okay, two. Fair enough. That's it? Seven? It's a, it's a large scout, and it only has seven. Okay. Sectoid Commander, Muton Elite, and Ethereal. I don't believe that, but fine. There's gotta be a sectopod. There's gotta be a sectopod. Come on. Lies. Okay, um, same group, I think. Should I give someone a, a grenade? Who? Who would I give a grenade? I guess Finn? Instead of a scope? I really do want to capture an ethereal, so I want to keep the arc thrower on her. On arrow, and you definitely don't want to take shit and plating away from an assault trooper. Alright, ghost grenade is the most expensive. Stealth lasts until the start of the unit's next turn. Attacks from stealth receive a substantial bonus to critical chance. Hmm. Interesting, but you can only use it once, and it only lasts until the start of the next turn. So basically it's a one-turn thing. You're using one person's turn, and then you have to use everybody else in the same turn. Eh. Mimic. Causes the aliens within radius to approach the beacon for two turns. Enemies already in combat are less likely to be fooled, of course. Eh. Eh, seems weak. I think the flashbang is the only one that's really interesting. I think I'm going to take none. But at least I have them. Prepare for deployment, strike one. The next deployment site is in the UK. You, Operation Bleeding Moon. We've got a fix on the downed UFO. There doesn't appear to be much mm -hmm. in the way of Oh, well, fascinating. We have a prime I didn't even check to see where we were. Where are we? This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Hmm, judging by the environment, I would say this looks like... Alaska. Get a feel for the environment here. Quite large, but probably no enemies over there. Maybe enemies here. Right, so kind of diagonal again. Once again, let's move fast, let's get the meld, and let's attempt to get an ethereal, although I, uh, bleh, although I don't think that's likely. It never seems to work out that way, especially when there's a mectoid backing it up.
on the move. Alright, that sounded like something big and stompy. I guess it could have been the mutons. Yeah. Yeah, it might have been. I'm still paranoid there's a sectopod out there. Every mission. Every mission I'm thinking, is there a sectopod? Is there a sectopod? There's the aircraft. Let's move in. Right, coming from inside. Makes sense. Hey, you hear anything? Yes, I think I do. Hmm. Meld might be inside or a little bit off to the right. Somewhere over here. This melt is actually surprisingly far away. They usually put it pretty close to you. At least one of them. But this one is far. That was the big stompy thing. Can I hit it? Not quite. Does it actually know we're here? The only one who's actually in range of it is Arrow and she's invisible. Right, well I don't want to wait around too long, so let's just go ahead and move up a bit. Oh yeah, Overwatch. Huh. I almost never pay attention to Overwatch. He usually misses anyway, it's got such a large aim penalty it seems like. Alright, can Isley see the little one? You're not Isley. You are, yes. Alright, so let's do an AoE. That way Isley can easily use her in the zone on the commander. Well, 
Actually, I could mind freight, maybe. Moving. Can I do it from here? No, I can't. Okay, it's fine. Now let's shoot. Oh, I can't shoot you. Okay. Hmm. That's rather inconvenient. I could simply disable you, I suppose. Or I could do this. Hmm. Alright. I can roll with that. Let's go ahead and do this. And I will move you up. And I will take a shot at you. Uh, getting you mostly dead, and then I will take you. Hold on, wait a minute. You have plays. Yeah, why don't you mind for it? Let's get your abilities up a bit. Exercises her brain a bit, and then I can do this. And this. And this eight percent, eight percent. Holy shit, I hit with an eight percent, which means I can now do this. Yeah, the last one wisely decided to run away. That's what I would have done. Let's go track it down. Or should we go for the meld? I think we should go for the meld. Then again, if we kill everything, we don't even need to go for the meld. Let's do that. Let's blow everything. Oh god, did I not... I didn't press you on the wall, did I? Fuck. Wrong square. You're not invisible. Shit. Alright, it's not a bad chance. However... However, instead of taking the chance, I might be able to do something different. Should I put my faith in the ever disappointing proximity mind? Mine, I mean, not mind. What the hell's a proximity mind? I think I shall. Let's see if it lets me down yet again. It didn't! It actually didn't let me down. Okay. 
You've redeemed yourself. Unfortunately, you didn't kill it. I'm pretty sure I can't kill it this turn. Unless... <laughs> That's not gonna work. Hmm. All right, I'll leave it alive, I guess. One hit point. One hit point. <sighs> Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. That makes me rather angry. I think I'm gonna have to smash your face now. Let's just do that. All right. Let's get you into cover. And get you some healing. And then move you up. When you love us. All right. Yeah, forget capturing the melt. I'm just gonna blow everything up before it has time to disappear. That's my plan. Can I do it? Let's find out. Position bestätigt. Let's take a peek in here. Oh, hi. I think it's time to attempt to capture an ethereal. Okay, could you please stop making that ethereal sand pouring noise? It's kind of getting on my nerves. Well, I can get the party started. However, I'd like to remain undetected for one more turn. So that arrow next turn can actually move in and attempt to capture it. Right, let's move you as far over as I can. Oh, I think that just got, wait, did you? No, no, that's squat side. No, they don't see you. Okay, you're good. Hmm. Let's go ahead and move you here. They shouldn't see you. No, okay. Oh, I can almost get it close enough to the other muton. Come on. Oh, it's touching it. I can see the bubble touching it. But it's not enough. Alright, I'll settle for the ethereal. That's fine. Alright, that's pretty good. Move you a little bit closer for next turn. Go in there and give him a good flaming. Move. 
moving. Enemy troops. Seriously? I really didn't think they'd see you there, and also, once again, the proximity mine fails me. Hey, look, proximity mine, the thing got in your proximity and it moved. Aren't you supposed to blow up? Yeah, fuck you. Right, well, I just I guess I'm just gonna blow up your face then. How's about you fuck off? Did you just say voices in your head? Man, my soldiers really are enjoying this, aren't they? That's a bit disturbing. Alright, I'll get you a bit closer. And make you invisible. So you shouldn't get mind controlled. Oh, well, never mind, that's gonna make you visible. Ouch. Alloys to the face. Ah, she still gets my- please, please don't work. Oh, neural damping mind control failed! Unfortunately, she is stunned. But I really, really, really want to capture it. So, to do that, what should I do? Um... The hell do I do? Okay, I guess Psy Inspiration would be good. That's gonna inf affect, like, no one. Sure. Why not? There you go, Graves. You're inspired. Hmm. I want to do some damage, but I don't want to kill you. Go ahead and shoot it. Please don't crit. One hit point. That could not be more perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to say, go ahead and shoot at Finn. Go for it. Be my guest. Everyone else can just sit back. Bide your time. Reload, you're good. Take a lunch break. Sip some tea. I'm gonna capture an ethereal. If it's the last damn thing I do, I'm gonna do- Oh, I lost a melt, I didn't even realize that. Ooh, you tickled! It's so cute! That was your entire turn, you tickled Finn. Good job. Ninety-five percent. Ah, uh, oh, what's gonna happen with an ethereal? I'm curious. Gotta interrogate an ethereal. How do you even interrogate an ethereal? Not a single casualty among the entire Ooh. squad. That takes a solid effort. Yeah, I really don't like side panic. I don't see it being very useful. I mean, it has to be non-robotic, which means I can't use it against big things like mectoids or cyberdisks or sectopods. And it's only if you can overcome the target's will, which means using it against a ethereal, for example, would be ineffective, because of course they're going to have crazy will, that's what they're all about. So I'm going to go once again with Psy Inspiration, even though it doesn't seem to have a very large radius. Still, I think I'll be glad I did that on the final mission. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. We'll see how long it can overcome that. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm really curious what that interrogation does. Improved pistol! I don't care. Here we go. 
you get a research credit for all technology. Holy crap. Unfortunately, that doesn't matter to me anymore, but that's still pretty cool. Huh. If you can get that early, that would be very, very worth it. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Yeah, making some very solid progress on the side front. Gotten two upgrades, I just need to get one person to the highest level. So one more side upgrade from either Isley or Finn. And I should be able to use the ethereal device. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.